Animators and digital artists have revolutionized the entertainment industry. Games, commercials, rides, motion pictures. The hunger to do more, better, faster character animation and visual effects gets more intense every day. The demands for uh, characters and films have really grown. You can't worry about where you need to go with the tools. In production, one of the most important things is to remain adaptable and flexible. We're looking to animate faster, and we're looking to do things that we've never done before. Maya, the world's most powerful system for character animation and visual effects. Maya is without precedent in, in the computer graphic realm. Uh, Maya, no With Maya, the only limitation to creating great imagery is your imagination. With Maya's embedded scripting language, Mel, animators have the flexibility to easily animate, script, or extend virtually anything. Somebody understood when they built Maya that I need ready access my animation data. I need it easily presented to me. But they also knew that I'm going to have to get into the guts of what it is I'm working on. With Maya and Mel, animators are now making that happen for themselves, building the tools that they need. Maya's new architecture taps into the power of today's screaming hardware. You get all the performance you need to work faster, explore new ideas, refine, and create higher quality animation. Maya has absolutely just kick-ass performance when it comes to working with characters. We can animate with characters, fully shaded in an environment, and get feedback very, very fast with the client sitting right over our shoulder. Maya's interface is totally customizable to maximize your productivity. Drop-down menus, hotkeys, custom tool shelves, or clear your screen completely and just use the hotbox. The hotbox lets you move much faster in your work, and your menus come up right in front of your face. You pick your tool, you use it, and it goes away when you don't need it. Alias Wavefront animators in Santa Barbara and Toronto teamed up to test the modeling, animation, and rendering capabilities of Maya in this animated short they call Ruby's Saloon. Maya gives you the world's most powerful set of spline modeling tools for character building. To create the cowboy's chaps, a nerved cylinder is shaped using a lattice deformer. And with this amazing new Maya tool set called Artisan, you can effortlessly sculpt organic surfaces with wrinkles, folds, and creases. Using traditional modeling tools, you can only sculpt so much. It's going to take modeling to a whole new level. Character animation in Maya is truly next generation. With the deepest set of customizable tools available to control your character's shape and motion. We have a huge suite of deformation tools that we can use. We've got uh, sculpt objects, we have lattices, we have wire deformers. And we can take all of those deformation tools and layer them all together, and you can come up with incredible effects. Maya's powerful inverse kinematics gives you intuitive solutions that reduce the time needed to create lifelike movement. With inverse kinematics, they've taken the best principles and brought them up to the next level a family of solutions that you can choose from so that the animator who ultimately should be in final control is in final control. With Maya, animators create digital puppets with embedded behaviors and high-level controls. Lean, sway, swagger, you direct and the character performs. You're able to abstract a lot of the underlying controls of the character. You can set it up so that you have all your lattices, your bones, your bind, and build your character once. And then when you actually get into the animation, you can hide all that and only work at the top level and never have to worry about what's underneath it anymore. Mel allowed me to customize the interface for my specific characters. I'm not a programmer. And normally, I would have gone to a C programmer and say, write me an interface that does this. With Maya and Mel, I'm able to do that myself. And I'm also handing this character off to other people. 
And the easier that I can make it to manipulate the character, the more productive they're going to be. How's a thirsty cowboy? With Maya's fully integrated sound sync capabilities, getting your characters to talk is fast and interactive. Cowboy's supposed to get a drink around here. We're going to be putting traditional animators and not someone that always does 3D work. How can we put together an interface that would make it easier for them to animate a character? And this is something we're able to do in Maya or not in other software. I thought these old contraptions went the way of the dodo. Well, in terms of dynamics, Maya offers capabilities now that we really haven't seen in other packages. Production houses have written their own code for things like this, but uh, that takes a lot of development time and a lot of effort. And now uh, the general animator with Maya is going to be doing amazing things that they just haven't been able to do before. Maya Dynamics gives you real-world simulations in seconds that would take days to keyframe by hand. A lot of free animation is going to come out of simulations, and it's fast. The big exciting thing about particles in Maya is that you can see them all the time. You can add forces so they can interact with other objects. You just press play, and it all, it all runs together. Maya's particle system is finally fulfilling a desire that many of us as animators have had, taking Dynamation, which we've all accepted to be a very superior particle animation package, and it's given it integration into an animation and rendering package. One of the beautiful things in Maya is that we can use soft bodies for anything. You can make soft body out of curves, soft bodies out of uh, geometry. You can also make soft bodies out of lattices. Soft bodies work fabulously for anyone who spends a lot of time messing with dynamics, the computational issues there are just insane, so the fact that it can happen is great. Within Maya's multi-lister, it gives us a lot of flexibility as far as building shaders. We can take textures, drag them, and drop them into any attribute of any shader. Do that very quickly and interactively. Maya's interactive hardware lighting is quick and precise. We've been getting very photorealistic effects with beautiful shadows. We've just begun to render with Maya, and we found that uh, a scene that might have taken 20 or 30 minutes was taking three minutes to render. Everybody sort of jumped back and said, well, this is good, <laughs> you know? We can put a lot more detail into the scene, or we can do more iterations. With the shader network, it takes what you can do in PA with the layering of shaders to a new level. Because it's easier, it allows you to build more complex shaders, get more realistic images. The word on the street that is, is Maya is going to be huge. Uh, everybody I talk to, our customers, are all waiting breathlessly for Maya. They're also asking for an interface to render man. We chose Maya because the, the open architecture and the robustness of the ABI code made this type of task easier for us to do. Maya Artisan is a revolutionary modeling and animation tool that gives you the creative control and feel of traditional brushes and sculpting tools. Intuitively sculpt organic shapes like you're working with clay. Select CVs. Paint cluster weights. You don't have to manually select each CV and weigh them by hand, which would take days or weeks. With Artisan, you can do the same thing in an hour to two hours. Save even more time using Artisan to paint on dynamic properties. With a few simple brush strokes, you control the subtleties of how the cape blows in the wind. You can also use a simple Mel script to paint on any 3D geometry you want. Maya Live solves the most difficult problems of mixing 3D graphics and live action to deliver highly realistic visual effects. The accuracy in match moving is extraordinarily well done. Maya Live can handle anything that we're going to be able to throw at it. We have no problems at all in integrating live action with CG. Maya Live is a fully integrated module of Maya, so your workflow is extremely efficient. The cost saving that is realistically going to be two to three hundred percent. The automation that Maya Live gives us is just absolutely amazing. It's going to speed up overall production 500, 1,000 percent. Maya Live is one more reason why the world's best animators and digital artists are moving to Maya.
Chris Tome of 3D Design Magazine says, for years the mantra for the high-end 3D character animator has been model and alias, animate and soft image. Not anymore. Maya gives artists unprecedented control over their characters. We tested the three leading high-end packages uh, for doing this character animation and found Maya to be the fastest and easiest to use. Maya could go so much further in creating different ways of, of working and different user interfaces that are more intuitive for artists to use. We told Maya for its flexibility. Mel lets you get into the software at the system level for complete control. For a smaller production house, Maya allows us the capabilities that have always been the domain of the larger production houses in that we can now tune the application for the artists. Maya is going to make some fundamental changes here at ILM. They've produced a system that allows us to take advantage of some of our proprietary techniques and still be able to work inside a Maya environment. And that's going to be incredibly powerful for us. First time I saw Maya, I saw a set of tools with the speed that no other package touched. Performance, flexibility, productivity. Maya, the world's most powerful system for character animation and visual effects.